Welcome to today's video. We're going to take a quick look at how to interact with the Chrome browser, how to print any page or export anything to PDF using Studio X, and also a little bit on keyboard shortcuts. Let's get into it. So the first thing I have is an automation here that will just open a web pages and we're going to carry on with the cryptographic or cryptocurrency theme that we've had in the previous episode. So if I was to run this workflow right now, all it would do is open up um, Chrome and go to the uh, Coin Marketplace website that we've been working with before. Now, what if I wanted to export this data to PDF? What's the simplest way of doing that? Well, in Studio, we do have um, some export to PDF activities. Let me just show you which ones we have. So you can see that within Studio, we have Excel to PDF, Word to PDF, and uh, PowerPoint to PDF, which is quite handy because we can always paste from the clipboard into these and export this way. But what if we wanted to just simply print the web page using a PDF printer that a lot of people have already installed on Chrome? Let's take a look at how we would do that. So if I open this web page, we can see the way I would want to do that is come and click this little ribbon here and go to the print button, that which we can always do. We can always do that using UI automation. So let's have a quick go at that. We would want the click, uh, click activity. Drag that into here. And I'm going to drag in a second one as well because I know there will be a second action I need to do. The first one I'll just click on the browser. Oh, sorry, I will click in this icon here. So as you can see, this has kind of got in our way a little bit. We just need to drag it out of the way. And now I should be able to interact with this icon, this button here. So I can click that button and it's getting the selector information and I can confirm that is what I want to click. Now the next thing I want to do is actually the uh, print button itself. So to get an application, so here I need to get the application to the state. I need to click the button, but I don't want that recorded. So to do that, you can use the pause configuration. So hit F2 and it will pause, pause recording for a few seconds, giving me time to click into this drop down. Um, and when recording will resume, which it has now, I can first move this out of the way, hope it doesn't click off and then come here and yep, click print. Hit confirm. So that will just do the basics of bringing up the print dialog box. So let's give that a quick go. So robot starting up, it goes to the print and it brings up the print dialog box. So this is good. First thing I'm going to show you is that whilst this did work in terms of, you know, the uh, the clicks on, on Chrome, sometimes it can just even the recording, you can see the menus, they kind of got in the way. Um, also with UI automation, there's always the, the risk that there might be something appearing in front of the screen. There might be some other thing that is making it, you know, the user might be moving the mouse at the time. It's not as robust. Um, as some method. So what I'm going to show you is just a really simple thing. Instead of this, I'm going to take out these two activities. And instead, if I go to Chrome um, and I look at the print, you can see that there's a keyboard shortcut here that will get you to the same place, which is Control P. Now I like keyboard shortcuts. They're normally faster and they can be more reliable as well. Let me show you how you would do a keyboard shortcut instead. It's very simple. So in here you would type in keyboard. You have it here. Bring it in, click this to record the shortcut and then just press the keys, control P and it's done. It's as simple as that. So this is just, it was quicker to record, it was quicker to run, it potentially will be more reliable as well. So now we get to the stage where we need to interact with this print dialog screen. So let me just explain what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to use the PDF export option uh, in the uh, Chrome print options. Uh, which said so this is installed as a print driver. I think it's often by default now. And I want to use that to be able to just save this document as a PDF with, with you know, the multi-page document. So this is where you'll hit your first challenge. Because if you bring up Studio and if you try going and just using the, the standard UI automation, so if I was to bring in click, bring it here and click indicate on screen, you will see that the interaction here is not what they're expecting. You'll see that actually it's interacting with the application, you know, behind the web page behind. It's not computer vision is not seeing this level, this layer. It's not allowing me to select this. 
Now, there's a few ways to get around this. One really simple way that I discovered when someone else showed me this challenge they had was actually, if you look at this UI default framework here, the UI framework, it's currently set to default. If you just tap F4, you can go through different types of UI uh, framework. This framework here, uh, AA, relates to uh, accessibility. And what happens is as soon as I go to the AA framework here, I can now interact with this uh, dialogue just as you would expect. So I'm now able to look at the items and interact with it in, in a normal way. So that's your my first tip for you is to change the framework if you're having any challenges with the specific elements and see if that helps. And here you can see uh, when we have the accessibility option on, it does help. I'm now able to come in and select the bits I want. So what I would want to do is I'd want to click this item and then I'd want to be able to highlight it as well. I'd want to be able to select PDF from the drop down list. So again, what we can do is we can, first of all, switch to the right framework of AA. We can pause the configuration for a few seconds. <laughs> Click the uh, save as PDF. Final step is to click the save button. Again, just switch to F from F4 to use the AA framework here and come down to save and click save. And that is that. Now you'll be asked to provide a path for where you want to save it. So I'm actually going to give the best thing I'd recommend here is to provide the full path to where you want to save the document. So I'm just going to make, first of all, get that full path ready. Okay, I've got that full path on my on the clipboard. Okay. So when you're saving it, what I'd recommend is you go to indicate on the screen, type into the, uh, the box here. Um, and then what I recommend is putting the full path, um, you know, to the, uh, the full path of the location. So when you're putting in the text uh, that you want to put in, the way to do it would be to yeah, paste in the full path and then just put the file name to report.pdf, for example, click save. I'm just going to send a keyboard shortcut to hit enter after typing in the file name. Again, like I said, it's easier this way. Record the shortcut and it is just going to be the enter key. Simple as that. So now we'll save, the, it'll save the file and it should complete the whole process. So let's give this a quick go and see if we get a file on our desktop that fits what we're expecting. Okay, let's give the workflow a test and see if we can get it to output a PDF. I'm just gonna close the browser and then let's give this a run. So you can see it's starting up. Robot has appeared in the tray, opens the browser, it goes to the right web page. It's going to go to the, now using the keyboard shortcut, it'll bring up the print dialog. Now it's going to interact and choose a destination as, as PDF. Click save. Dialog will pop up and you'll see it now type in the full path name that we specified. Dot report. Hit the enter button and the workflow ends. And now if you go to the desktop, and open up our report, we can see we have this lovely PDF um, report of the data. And if we scroll down, we can just see, you know, the different coins appearing. So there you go. We use keyboard shortcuts to initially bring up the dialogue within Chrome. We then use the accessibility U, uh, option within the UI framework to interact with that dialogue box that popped up because it wasn't appearing. We weren't able to interact with it using the default framework. Um, and finally, I just showed you how to provide a full path when saving uh, a report just to make sure that it's in the same location each time. Hope that was helpful. See you on the next video.